experience was uh, having trouble hearing the teacher on what the content that she was saying. Um, some of the things were like understanding friends, like you know in a group conversation sometimes it's hard to know what the topic is because you can get really lost easily if you don't know what the topic is because you can bounce back and forth. Mm -hmm. With hearing loss it's kind of difficult because you're Hearing loss in school, basically, I cha I have challenges with background noise, being bullied, and being left out quite often. Socializing is very important in our lives, and what people don't realize is that when they say never mind, it hurts. We we deserve the right to be involved in a group. Gym class, it's a noisy environment. Um, so that's probably the biggest challenge for me. I found it hard to watch videos because normally I rely on subtitles and also science class there's like really bad acoustics so I found that really hard. I uh, my music marks aren't very good, well they're not as good as they should be because often I don't hear the notes so I'm totally on key so to make up for it I practice a lot at home. Uh, I think one of the biggest problems for me at school was discrimination for sure. Like. People look down on you, like they look differently because you know, you're like one of the only people there who has to get you on loss. You know, it's not fair on the random they go to the war or the mama or something because I really don't know what they are trying to say. I mean, we are exposed to you know, to visualize the, the lips so we know what they are saying, but when they cover the lips, it's kind of confusing. So. Well, I think it all depends on the student itself. The teacher should ask the student what they feel, feel most comfortable with. Like, do they, do they like the door closed? Do they like subtitles on the video? Uh, do they want the peers to stop talking, etc.? Background noise is the worst. Yeah. It is just the worst. Yeah. Close all doors. Make sure nobody's talking but the teacher's talking. I'm trying to control the class. Like, I know it's, not, it's hard, especially with our age. But it's mostly like keep them quiet and try to get the student more closer to you. Like my teacher would walk down to me and then talk there so I could hear her as well as the others who still hear her. Well, I tell myself that um, I don't care what other people will think about me, that I just will be myself and just not care. Me, I, would use, I just go up to the teacher and I ask him to repeat the student's answer after they answer. So that way I can hear it directly yeah. into my hearing aids. I, in my school, they have a pass mic they connect it to the FM. So the pass mic, you put it to them who can enter it, and the FM is for the teacher. Like, I give my teacher an, uh, an FM system. And, and I and, and when I miss something, I would ask her right away. Everyone else is more mature. Everyone, they, they actually care more. So you just tell them and they understand completely fine. Yeah. Just, just make lots of friends too, it's really easy. I have like a person beside me that knows why everything's going on. So I can ask them, I can ask him if I didn't hear what the person said. And if he didn't hear them, I'll just go to the teacher. And that's it. Uh, don't feel shy or anything just because you have cochlear implants. And if you are struggling, don't uh, be quiet. Speak up and let the teachers or your peers know. Also say be confident. Uh, you have to get what you need in order to succeed. So don't be shy of it. Honestly, just be yourself and accept yourself for who you are. Um, don't hide it. I mean, like, hiding is just going to probably make it worse anyway. My advice would be don't be afraid to go up to the teacher and just straight up say, like, I can't hear you. I need you to speak louder. And don't be afraid to like ask her to repeat something or ask to speak louder because it could actually like improve how well you learn in class. Use all the help that is offered to you because 
they are they they help a lot. If, like they help if they offer you to write your test in a quiet room, take that. If they offer you an FM system, take that because it will really benefit your grade and your experience in high school and it will be less stressful for you. It's, just don't worry about it. It's yeah. not hard. I mean, the first little while I feel uncomfortable, but after a while, everybody just gets to know you. Yeah. Just focus on the studies and after you focus on the studies and show everybody that you're capable and intelligent, and they'll start to respect you and they'll just treat you like anybody else. Yeah, it's, like, it's not the end of the world, it's just four years of your life. Not a big deal. Just enjoy it. Yeah.